Hey folks, Richard Rocky Honda here. Now, if like me, you got up this morning thinking, can't wait to get out in the yard and you know, enjoy that greenery and stuff and then open the curtains and saw the snow, you'd be a bit bummed too. But hey, I've got some good news for you. Honda revamped all their lawnmower line this year and gave us some nice looking, we call them Type R mowers that look a little bit more fancy and a little bit sporty than the stuff you might have seen before. So what I'm gonna do is give you a quick overview on just four of the models we've got in the range. There is eight models in the range but these are our mainstay machines. So what is different for 2020? Well, this is what we call the HRR, um, H, sorry, HRN uh, PKC mower. This is one of the best selling mowers we've always had. Um, it's a standard push mower, but what makes it different is our twin blade system. So we have twin blades underneath. Now, if you've ever cut your grass with a normal lawn mower, you'll notice that as you go over, it pushes the grass over, and then when you're finished, it looks great, but then a couple of days later, you've got odd bits and pieces sticking up um, that you think you've missed. You haven't missed it, it's just the design of the lawn mower. With a Honda, because of those twin blades, it sucks all the grass vertically, and then it cuts it with those two blades, so it's all even. So if you've ever looked at sporting events where they've got those lovely pristine stripes up and down, this is what they're using to get that kind of effect. Um, with the Hondas, um, it also gives you four opportunities of cutting the grass. Four opportunities, twin blades. What goes up has to come down, so it cuts it four times. Um, me personally, I always mulch my grass because I like the, the grass to break down into itself and fertilize. Um, plus there's no mess to clean up, which is environmentally sound, of course. Um, so in my case, the residue that's left over is very small. Um, I have kids and dogs and stuff, so that stuff doesn't get trailed into the house. So that's the benefits of the twin blade system. For this year, Honda have gone with an all new deck. Um, it's galvanized steel, so it's not gonna rust. Um, it's got a plastic front grill now on the front instead of steel, so it's a little bit lighter than it used to be, a little bit easier to maneuver around. But the big news is the increase in capacity of the engine. These are general purpose engines. Um, Everything on this machine you see, from the stickers to the bag, is all genuine Honda product, not pattern made by somebody else, made in the Honda product. And the GCV engines have been the mainstay of Honda power equipment for a long time. This year, having a higher capacity of 170cc means you've got a little bit more torque there to deal with uh, perhaps damp grass or longer grass. Now, let's face it, this is Calgary. You know, the weather changes every two minutes here. So quite often, we're actually mowing damp grass. Well, this is gonna give you enough torque to be able to cut through that without the engine stalling out as you often see with other mowers. Honda have also increased uh, and added some uh, easier functions like the wheel height adjustments. Now, this is a combined system. So now you can adjust both wheels from one side and the same on the back as well with a simple lever. So no more individually adjusting wheels and having to walk around and get it all perfect. Very, very easy. On these particular machines, we talked a little bit earlier about uh, mulching. We have a simple lever down here, so we can move between bag and mulch very simply. So nice and simple operation, push mower, it's the bare bones of stuff. And at 549 at the moment, it's a pretty good deal. Next to it, we have what we call the VYC mower. Now I like this one particularly for a couple of reasons. It's, um, the, the main thing is the safety of this thing. Normally on a lawnmower, the blades are spinning every time that the engine's working. On this one, it's not. You have to engage your blade separately using a clutch system. So if you have small children running around um, when you need to empty the bag, instead of having to turn the mower off, you can just let go of the arm, the blade stops dead, but the engine stays running. So a little bit easier for you as well. Same features as the PKC, but it also adds a variable speed transmission as well now. So you can push down on this, and the harder you push, the faster the machine goes. So makes it nice and easy if you've got a slightly uneven lawn or a bigger area to do, perhaps. The other two mowers that have been really popular over the years have been the premium lawn mowers. And what we have here is the two models in that range. They're both identical. The difference is one has electric start and the other one is a simple pull start engine. The first thing you notice about these, polycarbonate deck. So a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to use, no rusting or corrosion, a little bit more um, robust from taking stones and stuff through like that. These have been tested with a four x four driving over the deck and it doesn't break. So it's pretty indestructible. You also get a 200 cc engine on here. This thing's almost like a racing machine. Um, big engine, lots of torque, 
great for large areas, acreages, and actually even some of our commercial users like this machine as well for some of the, the features on it, including the big engine. This one actually has a fluid drive, a hydrostatic drive. So it means that the transmission is a lot smoother, less jerky, and more infinitely controllable. So you can set these machines to your comfortable speed, and then you don't have to worry about moving any levers or pushing any buttons. As soon as you engage the drive, it's just gonna go at the speed you set it to, which is kind of nice. It also has the roto stop system, similar to this machine. So you have to engage the blade separately, nice and safe, nice and easy. And of course, the twin blade system under there as well. The premium models also benefit from a larger bag. All the bags are flow through, so the cuttings go right to the back of the, the bag. But the premium just gives you that little bit more, again, based around larger areas and stuff like that. So, these are the mainstay of our range. Like I said, there's eight different mowers in the range from an entry level, single blade push mower, right up to a commercial spec um, double blade system that's gonna basically survive an apocalypse. Um, all available on the floor right now. Come down and see us. Let's have a discussion about what kind of lawn you have, what kind of uh, gradients you've got, what kind of usage, and then we'll find the right mower for you. And you know what? When we get our grass growing outside, you can even try them too. Come and see us at Rocky Honda.